Kaneohe Bay is a popular place for commercial water activities, but some operators do so without a permit. As KITV4's Chloe Markley reports, there's a bill in the House aimed at stopping this type of activity. Residents tell me Kaneohe Bay is very sacred to them, and those who are participating in illegal ocean activity are disrespecting the area. Many of the commercial operators at Kaneohe Bay do not have a permit, along with many other things. They don't have life jackets, they don't have fire extinguishers, they don't have e perps they don't have flares. They, they, don't, they have vessels out here that should only carry six passengers. They carry 20 people on board. Lacking these safety elements poses a threat to passengers. They're not trained to take tourists up there. You know, I know people that were out there, even the kayaks, taken out there, and sometimes they forgot one or two passengers out there, not realizing where the commercial lights guys are more, more actually um, educated. Unpermitted businesses advertise online and on social media, attracting countless tourists. But not for long if Bill 1134 becomes a law. The bill calls for anyone who advertises or participates in commercial ocean use activity without a permit to be issued a citation. The measure covers boating, parasailing, water sledding, snorkeling, diving tours, kayaking, and more. Supporters say Kaneohe Bay is becoming overcrowded, which could damage the sandbar and coral reefs. If we deplete these natural resources, if we don't malama aku malama mai, take care of them, respect them and honor them, they'll not be here. Introducer of the bill, Representative Lisa Kitagawa says ocean activity needs to be limited to preserve the area. If we allowed an unlimited amount of commercialization on the bay, it wouldn't be healthy for the Bay, but also wouldn't be healthy for the community. Businesses who do have permits say illegal activity is hurting their sales. They're just profiting off of something that I work hard to educate people on. Instead of educating them, they're just showing everybody how to party on the sandbar instead of uh, learning the significance about this beautiful bay. Supporters encourage the community to respect Kaneohe Bay and say they hope the bill becomes a law to protect the bay for future generations. You're not helping, you're destroying. And if you cannot see that you're not actively working together to preserve it, its beauty for the future, then you're part of the destruction. Chloe Markley, KITV4 Island News.